Hello and welcome to the video tutorial of the Odoo Multi Website app. Odoo Multi Website allows you to configure multi websites to a single backend. Also, in the video, we will cover the configuration of both the backend and the frontend of the module. Before proceeding any further, I would like you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get all the updates from our end. And if you find the video helpful, then do like and comment to let us know. Before starting with the configuration, let's look at some of the core features of Udo Multi Website app. You can create and manage multi websites with single click from a single Udo database. You can apply a unique and appealing theme for each website from the Udo backend. Also, you can create different store specific website menus for multi websites. You can enable different categories, shipping and payment method for different websites. Create multi-website with the same or different companies in the Odoo backend. Now let's continue with the configuration of the Odoo apps and know how to use it. In your Odoo backend, go to settings, websites. Here you can see that I have already configured a website for you. In the website section, give the name of the website, Favicon, the domain name of the website, the languages and various other configuration. Once done, click the save button. Now open the mega menu and go to websites, configuration and websites under it. Here you can see all the configured websites. You can see the number of menus, payment gateways, delivery method and link to open your website. Click on any of them. You can also configure a website from here as well. Enter the name, domain, choose the home page, languages, favicon. Apart from that, in the bottom section, you can see the various tabs to configure your website such as menus, pages, delivery method, payment method, the price list, social media accounts of your company websites and Google Analytics key. Apart from that, in the e-com categories, analytics and country group, you can configure them as per your needs. Click the save button. Now click on the website and go to the website. From here, you can choose between your various websites. For example, I am choosing the electronic site. Go to your website, choose any product, add it to the cart. Now place order for the same. Once the payment is done, go to the mega menu and open the sales module. Here, click on the order, quotations, remove, remove all the filters, then click on the group by option and choose website. You can see the data has been categorized based on various websites. Now, in the same way, go to orders, then customers and remove the filter and here also group by the data by website. You can see the data has been categorized as per the website. You can also categorize undefined customers into your various website 
click and open any of the profile pick the edit button go to the sales and purchase tab and choose the website then click save next open the mega menu and go to the inventory tab here click on operations and click transfer then group data by websites and as you can see the data has been categorized based on website next go to the settings menu then activate the developer mode now go to the website menu configuration and payment transaction here also group data by website so you can see the data of all your websites kindly note that for the payment transaction option you have to enable the developers mode otherwise this option will not be available in your Udo backend that's it for today i hope the video helped you understand the workflow configuration of the Udo multi website app if you have any question query suggestion or requirement regarding the same then get back to us at support at the rate webcool.com or raise the ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com Thanks for watching the video and have a great day ahead.